Welcome to the Star Online live chat coming to you live from Star Studio V. Joining with us here today is our Honorable Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dato Dr. Maximus Onkili, or fondly known as Dr. Max. Welcome, Dato, to Studio V. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Dato, as you're aware, we have been asking a lot of questions and uh, 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 to all the general public, you know, on, on, on various issues, you know, with regarding to the ministry. <coughs> we have received a lot of uh, replies and uh, concerns, which many of it focus on internet speed and connectivity and the digital divide and cyberspace security. Yeah. So, but before we deal with those <coughs> questions, Dato, could you please kindly share with us the roles of the Science, Technology and Innovation Ministry and in that of the Information, Communications and Culture and Arts Ministry in this matter. Would you like to share with us your... Yeah, I mean the whole subject of uh, internet connectivity and uh, speed and uh, so forth actually uh, involves um, multiple ministries. Um, but of course, uh, largely uh, uh, the task of putting up the highway is the task of the uh, 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 Ministry of uh, Information and Multimedia uh, because the Multimedia Commission is placed in there. Uh, they are a licensing uh, uh, board. They are also involved in the actual approval for infrastructure development. So, uh, mostly is a role, a key role is largely we are dealing with the content uh, aspect and the technological uh, aspect. So, um, but we should not. Uh, really put the sole responsibility you know, on the, actually on, 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 on penerangan, on, on information ministry mm. and uh, multimedia. Uh, because when it comes to the state, the states are also directly involved. Where you put towers, where you put cables, uh, the, they relate to uh, land matters. Mm. And so it's not just a single uh, uh, entity. entity. But on the mostly side, our, our task is, um, we assume of course that uh, uh, the infrastructure is there, okay, the connectivity is there, and our job is to ensure that the content is sufficient. We, uh, it's our job that the technology uh, uh, are available, either from the perspective of um, uh, 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 what the telecos may require in terms of technology, the WiMAX, or Wi-Fi technology, uh, uh, and so forth. And I think um, because it's a multiple uh, task, everybody is involved, but uh, we do uh, uh, aware of the expectations of the public and uh, actions are in place to, to try to meet those demands as short as possible. Time. Okay. Okay. Dato, according to the uh, National Broadband, the broadband <coughs> plan, you know, and it said that 50% of the population must have access to super fast internet connection by 2010. Yes. Am I right? So, how far has it progressed you know, to now and, and what is Mosi's role in this whole plan? Well, of course, it's, uh, uh, we are moving on uh, there. Um, perhaps regretfully, uh, the task is uh, huge to meet the 50% uh, penetration by next year. That was our stated objectives. Uh, at this uh, point in time, we are about 26%. Uh, but uh, the rollout uh, for the broadband uh, initiative is already on. Uh, Telecom Malaysia has been charged uh, to, to do that. They, they have budgeted even that it's going to cost about 11.2 billion, I think, 2.4 billion coming from the government, 8.9 billion going to come from uh, uh, TM on resources over a 10 year, 10 year period. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is that there's two phases. One is a high speed broadband, which is for the urban areas, okay, for business, uh, uh, and of course, um, uh, uh, well, higher standard of living in this area. And then uh, the second part of it is the, the broadband for the general public i.e. in particular the rural sector semi-urban and they have zoned it to zone 1, 2 and 3. Zone 1 is uh, purely urban, zone 2 is semi-urban and zone 3 are the interiors of Sabah and Sarawak. And, uh, okay. uh, um, so on, on, as far as that's concerned, actually the uh, efforts are being done. I understand the last uh, one year there's been a bit of a lag. Uh, contracts are being uh, uh, um, constructed by, uh, by the Telecom Malaysia. And uh, I'm informed that within the next six months, at least six major contracts are to be rolled out uh, for the establishment of these. However, in the rural sector, it's going to be quite a challenge uh, because of connectivity uh, issue. And um, high speed is going to depend on actually on high quality 
uh, infrastructure, i.e. fiber optic and so forth. Okay. And then that takes time, you know, to lay out. But I think in the urban and in the semi-urban, it is possible to hasten. Of course, then we have the technology on wireless, either either WiMAX or Wi-Fi. Perhaps that could be used to drag to the last mile. Mm. As a minister of a sharing um, uh, technology, uh, uh, science, technology, and innovation, and I represent the country in many of these international bilateral, I am still confident that I think uh, we, we can make a major leap forward within the next 12 months, okay. assuming contracts are rolled out properly, uh, especially in the urban areas. But uh, perhaps in the rural, we will have to fast track that and the use of wireless um, for the last mile, I think, uh, 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 would be the approach to do. But again, infrastructure, my colleague in that Asia team uh, mm -hmm. would have to uh, compare notes and uh, move on. But move on, he's yeah. determined to, to try to meet the deadline. A lot of people think that it's not possible, but I would still give it a chance. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a very confident uh, yeah. answer from the minister. I had the chairman of uh, Telecom Malaysia uh, uh, dinner three nights ago and I went through the checklist. And he has that inkling that it is possible. Even if we don't reach that 50%, we should not be too far from the mark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's great news for all the general public. And uh, we'll be right back, dear listeners. We'll be right back after a short break. So stay tuned to Star Online Live Chat. <laughs> 